The jurors are getting their instructions right now to stay away from media, to not read anything about this case until this case is over. And let me just let you know who's on this jury. Four men, eight women. It's 50-50 split, African-American and women. And typically, that is not an issue. But in this case, this is what the attorneys are talking about. And this is part of the discussion in who will be part of this jury who will decide the fate of R. Kelly. A two-day task to pick jurors who would be both available for four weeks and say they could be fair in the highly publicized federal trial of R. Kelly in Chicago. I strongly feel that no jurors that have seen the documentary or even watched it with, like they're saying, they see family members have seen it. I don't think they should be able to be on the jury. A family friend of Kelly's came to Chicago from out of state to show support to the R&B star. She considers him to be a brother. It's important for me to be here because, again, I believe that my brother is innocent and I'm here for his support. Over 100 residents of Northern Illinois have been considered to be jurors. Among the questions they have been asked, have they seen the documentary Surviving R. Kelly? And could they be fair and open-minded if selected? Kelly is accused of creating child pornography, and along with his co-defendants, Daryl McDavid and Milton Brown, they are accused of paying off a minor seen in a pornographic video and her family to avoid prosecution in Cook County. Kelly is in custody after being convicted and sentenced in a New York court for racketeering and sex trafficking. These cases come after accusations about Kelly's behavior with young women have been reported over the years, some of which is part of the documentary reference during jury selection. This trial is expected to last four weeks. We will hear opening statements tomorrow morning. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.